Good morning students of class 8. Hope you all are fine. Today we are going to start chapter number 2 which is related to kidneys and excretions. The topics which we will cover today are excretion, defecation and water in the body. And these are on page number 10. First of all, what is excretion? Excretion is the removal from body of waste chemicals that have been produced inside the body. When we eat food, many waste materials are also produced into our body. And these waste produced materials are very harmful for our body. And we must have to remove those waste products. So the removal of those harmful waste products made inside our body, this process is called excretion. They must be excreted from the body. When the cell respire, when it takes in oxygen and produces energy, but along with the energy, it also produces carbon dioxide as a waste product. If this carbon dioxide is allowed to build up inside the body it will be harmful you know the carbon dioxide is very harmful gas so what happened from where it will be expelled out from the body this carbon dioxide is carried to the lungs which we breathe out this is excretion in excretion three organs are involved lungs, skin and kidney. Skin also plays an important role in excretion. Sweat is a waste product excreted out through the skin. Kidneys excrete out liquid form of urea and uric acid. These are the three main excretory organs, kidneys, lungs and skin. Now next is defecation. Defecation is the removal of undigested food from the body. So defecation is the process when we remove out solid waste product which are in the form of feces produced in the process of digestion. In digestion, the undigested food goes in large intestine from there where this goes into the last part of digested system called anus. So, defecation is the removal of feces from only one organ, that is anus. While excretion is the removal of waste products produced inside our body. And three organs are involved in excretion. Those are skin, lungs and kidneys. Water in the body. Water is vital for us. It is very important for us. We can live for some weeks without the food. But we cannot live without the water. Because 70% of our body is water. Even our cells also contains almost the same amount of water. Now, some functions of water are Every cell needs water to work properly. Water is needed to carry dissolved substance in our whole body. It also makes most of our blood and digestive juices such as bile, pancreatic juice, etc.
water gain and lost must roughly equal the human body is made up of 70% of water we know this already in order to maintain water balance the amount of water we gain must equal to the amount of water we lose on a daily basis here is the rough estimate of water intake and water output so it should be balanced in the body we can see that water intake is 2500 ml and water output is also 2500 ml so they both should be equally balanced so drink at least 10 to 12 glass of water per day to maintain sufficient level of water in your body so students stay hydrated thank you so much god bless you all